All right, what's up, Tyler? We got Tuesday, May 9th board briefing. So pre-wad skill, we got four sets for load, three overhead squats. So that's going to come out of the rack today, okay? Um, excuse me. Workout, 10, 9, 8, 7, sorry. 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. All right, RX version is snatches, squatting, okay? And that's 115, 165 for the loading. Perform three wall walks after each set. So you'll do 10 snatches, um, then perform three wall walks, eight snatches, so on and so forth till the end of the workout. Level two, same workout, 75, 115. Uh, level one, hang snatches. So we're gonna hang, go from the hang and we're still squatting, okay? 35 and 45 pounds. Perform two partial wall walks after each round, same repetition scheme. All right, a couple things we want to keep an eye on today. We want to be 15 minutes or under. Now, if you do the math, that's one snatch every 20 seconds. So we really want to keep the integrity of this workout. So if the weight's too heavy, you won't be able to perform one snatch every 20 seconds, okay? Um, during the pre-wad or uh, specific warm-up, there's gonna be a chance to do some, some snatching and some wall walks. The wall walks should take you less than 30 seconds and the snatches should take you less than 30 seconds. So that's the kind of loading we're looking for for today. Um, is it necessarily touch and go? No, you don't have to, but if you start riding past 20 seconds, you're gonna be well over 15 minutes for the workout, all right? Let's make sure that we have a good start position in the snatches, nice and tight, proud chest, nice arched back, and remember, we want to use our legs for the snatch, not a low back. Hips and shoulders move at the same time, right? Um, if we're going RX, must squat below parallel, okay? Other ways to scale the snatch is to catch in a power snatch and then overhead squat. Hopefully, we're not shuffling our feet too much. We should be landing in our squat stance. Um, so we can do that, we can lessen the load, so it'll allow you to do the, uh, the integ keep the integrity of the lift intact. Uh, usually when we add weight to something difficult, it makes it more difficult. So if we lighten it up, we might be able to do it a little bit better. And I would say like, even if we're using just a barbell or a training bar, and we're doing the, the repetitions correctly, it's better than modifying to a whole different movement, all right? Um, basically, that's a day in a nutshell. Have some fun with it. High-scale workout, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy.